everybody, Mr. Mike here, and as you are looking right now, what do you see? Well, this is my Xbox One, and this is the new, or soon to be new, Xbox One dashboard. Now, as you can see, it looks a lot different than what you normally see on your dashboard. Doesn't this look a little like the PC uh, dashboard? on your Windows 10 PC if you do have Windows 10 and you go into the Xbox app. Doesn't it look like it a little bit? It's got the same feel to it, except there's a lot of interesting things on here. And um, this is in early days. This is an early beta. As you can see on the lower right-hand corner, it has like Xbox reference 2016, all that numbers and stuff on there because you know this is just the beta this is a uh, still in beta um the official the official uh dashboard or should say ui dashboard slash dashboard update the major update does not come to you you regular folk until um sometime in november around when fall four comes out and all that that's when you guys will be getting this uh but because i am a beta tester and i'm in the dashboard program on the preview program i get to take a peek sneak peek at this already early you know unwrap my christmas gifts or any kind of gifts early here and uh it took three weeks for me to get this a lot of people you know they got this even earlier than i did uh because they did a lot of feedback i did not do enough feedback but this time i might do a little feedback because I did find some things in the dashboard update that they might need to check out. Um, but I'll go through that in a little bit. So here's your main page when you go on into your Xbox One. Uh, this is your main page. And the upper left hand corner here is going to be all your stuff. Uh, your name, it shows you, your achievements and stuff. And as you go left see see where i'm at the home and then it goes to community and all that because you can scroll right if you go from home and you go click left one more time with your analog stick or whatever you're getting into this pane um it has the sign in pane it tells you you who you are which i'm mike to my coral six shows my achievements i can add and manage accounts with that uh and it shows my profile picture you know my avatar picture right there I'll if I go down there's your friends list nice and easy on the left hand side I could go right in here I can find somebody I could see who's on which two people are on currently I can scroll on down and easily find people on my friends list that's a cool that's pretty cool I like that that makes it look very clean and neat go down again you can start a party chat. You can start up a party with your friends for games, just chatting online. And you can have up to 12 people now as they have currently uh, set the new standard for. So if I wanna start a party chat, I can in this section. All I have to do is click in there, start a party, uh, invite people into the chat, and it's all easily managed right in this section. Below it, messages you know if you want to find out where your messages are you know it, it was always a little bit of a hassle i had to go, either go into my profile to go into messages or go into the map app which is messages they got a message app or i had to go up to uh notifications back in the old uh version of this dashboard the old the one that you guys probably currently have and i had to look up my messages but now it's on this left hand pane I could go in here, I got two messages. Oh look, I got that Xbox preview. I got my friend Dr. Dre, who's uh, gave me a message because I was asking him if I we can go uh, play some Xbox together. And then I have my Xbox message here from the, 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 the launch, for the launch thing. I'm gonna delete this message. Let's see here, delete. Uh, this system account, this is a system account. When you get another message, you will see it here. Okay. Cancel, cancel. Yeah, I don't want to see that no more. And I'll get rid of my friend, Dr. Dre. Me and him, we talked a lot, so. Um, let's just get out of here. 
delete conversation. Yes. This deletes your copies of these messages. It won't affect your messages that finishing gray one sees. Okay. <laughs> it's quiet in here. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, because we're not sending any messages right now, Xbox. So that's your message pane right there. That's pretty sweet. All easy. Um, notifications. Uh, a little bit more interesting and sweet. Um, as it shows here, I do got some no one notification, or three notifications, basically. Uh, which, in notifications now, they put it in categories. So I actually have one here, and basically this is my achievements notification. It told me that I got three notifications, meaning I got three achievements uh, in this section. And it puts it in a notification, it puts it in an achievements notification. So if I got a message, it put it in a separate category. Um, if I got an announcement or anything else in notifications, it would show up in different categories. It would actually group them in categories this time. So you got group notifications. So if I go into here, view details, it'll show me that I got three achievements and I can actually launch this. It'll tell me what I got, tell me what my achievement is, what it's called, and what I did to get it. So I got 74% of all relics, because I'm playing Tomb Raider right now, getting prepped and ready to play Rise of the Tomb Raider when it comes out shortly. And I can actually launch this from here to play it. So I'm just gonna clear all because I don't need any. I already know what I got. Uh, down one more, you got your settings, turn off console, you can restart your console. Uh, your connect mic for chat can go easily on and off. So if I wanna go in here and turn on and off the mic, which seems like it's not going to it for some reason. Maybe it's just showing it's on. Maybe I have to actually go into the settings, which the settings are a lot different, and I'm going to go into them now. Might as well, because I'm already in here. Uh, it's a lot different. It's all organized. Everything is organized basically on the left here. You know, it's all lefty. It's all for you lefties out there. And us, uh, you know, righties, it doesn't matter. But it's all on the left. It's all organized in their categories nice and neatly. Um... So I got my account stuff here. You can check your subscriptions, family, remove accounts, payment and building, uh, billing, uh, content restrictions and stuff, personalization. Of course, my profile, change color background. And if it's your home Xbox, then you got your network settings here. Then you got your settings for your console info and all that stuff. How to sign in, storage management, time, uh, preferences, how your notifications are are, um, are given to you, streaming and broadcasting, smart glass connections, and preferred video providers. So stuff like that that gets you, you know, easily to manage your accounts and what you want running on your Xbox or connected to your Xbox or not. Then you got your connected device accessories here. So if I go into connect here, I am pretty sure, yep, it's seeing me in the background. Hi, hi everybody. No, I'm not a guest, that's that's me. Apparently it thinks I'm a guest, I don't know why. Um, I think it's something that needs to be uh, addressed on. Uh, I don't know why it says I'm a guest, maybe if I have my glasses on, is that why? Nope. I don't know why it's saying that. I don't know why it's saying I'm a guest, because I'm not a guest. It's me, it's Mr. Mike, but it's saying I'm a guest. So clearly this isn't working as uh, properly as it should be, but oh well. Uh, I actually have Connect on, use Connect smart microphone for chat, yeah. I'm currently using my Connect for chat because I found out that the Connect is very good with chat uh, and why not? Why not use that and I can hear people through my surround speakers. It's pretty sweet. Devices and accessories, meaning my controller here, uh, assigned to somebody. So it has the firmware, all that shows you everything, the buzz. Oh, it tests out the buzz. When you click on it, it actually buzzes. Update. I can update my controller. Uh, I can 
do that if I had my USB cable with me, but I'm gonna exit on that. And something that's coming in the near future, button mapping. It is not here yet. They just show the controller like so here, um, but nothing is available yet in button mapping, but it is coming. Meaning if you're playing a game, and I'll go back into this to just show you. If you're playing a game and the button, the control layout for you is not to your liking, like if Y was the shoot or something and I don't know, X was to go forward or drive or run or something, and you wanted A to run and B to shoot or something, you can actually switch the controls of, I don't know if it's every game, it could be every game, via this controller if it is every game which i think that's what they were going for on this that would be really cool i'd re really be into that but that is coming soon it's not here yet um but they are working on it button mapping for every xbox one controller meaning uh the w regular one that you got with your console like i got my day one edition uh xbox one controller here uh, you can, the new Elite controller that's coming out, that's going to be button mapped, of course. Uh, all of them are going to work for button mapping. So it tells me, it shows me, Xbox One wireless controller, manufacturer Microsoft, the firmware, battery level, and assigned to moi. I like that. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet to me. At least to me, you know, not everybody likes that. Um, like I said, connected devices. I already showed you preferences, connected devices, um, video and display. So display and sound is in their own category now. Now they got the video output, your volume. So how how much audio do you want coming out? Sound mixer, chat mixer, AV control, change volume with voice by three steps, uh, audio output. How do you want your audio output? You know, do you want it? HDMI audio stereo, 5.1 uncompressed, all that stuff here, right in that category there. Power and st startup, how to shut off your console. Um, power management, meaning if you want to save some energy, which is not really much at all, so I don't worry about that. Uh, discs, they actually show your disc, like disc for games and stuff and Blu-ray, you can change settings into here. Like if you click here, you can see it's got two little settings in here, which is weird. Blu-ray, it has like menu, subtitle. Do you want to use BD Live on here? So for your movies and entertainment. Then you got your stuff like your one guide and I shouldn't have clicked on it. Don't set up my TV, get out of there. I shouldn't have clicked on it, but it, that's your one guide setup. Uh, device control, uh, if you want to con control your TV, your receiver, and all that. I used to have it all, it all controlled under here, but it was kind of a hassle to work with everything under that, so I did not, I did not opt in to do the device control. And then audio and video um, with other stuff like. HDMI, HDMI not connected, that's for your video, uh, auto refresh rate, this is all for your TV preferences, this is all TV and then troubleshooting, so if you want that, and of course, ease of access, this is something a little bit new, um, for stuff I have not really seen this before, but it has, well of course your button mapping again, uh, narrator, I guess, will narrate for you if you're hard of hearing or something like that. Magnifier if you're hard of seeing. Closed captions if you're deaf. And high contrast, meaning, I don't know, better color and stuff. Turn on high contrast to make on-screen elements easier to see. Okay, let's see how it looks. Let's get out of here. Ah, wait. Let me get into the thing here. So this is what high contrast looks like. Okay, so my whole background is gone and everything's changed. The color is like inverted. You see the 
see it's all black in the background that's what high contrast is okay i did not know what that was but good thing i tested it and you know what i'm turning off high contrast turn off high contrast okay i'm back into my regular contrast okay so showed you what was on the left pane here lots of cool stuff um there was one more thing down here and that would be your snap center they actually have snap center down in here you notice they skip one whole pane and they go right down the snap center this is where you could easily go to if you want to snap something like if you want to snap your achievements i got amazon instant i game dvr halo channel help anything that's able to be snapped you can go in here click on it and it'll be snapped into your right side pane for like easy viewing so if i wanted to snap i don't know let's say uh let's just say we want to snap shit twitch it'll go in it'll snap twitch for me um nice and easy but i, I don't care i'm just gonna get out of that it's not something i care about right now i'm i'm very picky when i when i look through this so quit that quit twitch come on twitch like i said still some things are in there ah there we go there's still a couple glitchiness things in here it's like sometimes stuff will respond fast sometimes it won't like when this count comes out of your sleep state i noticed it goes really quick i mean really quick now um after it, like i turned it on when i said x on you know i'm not going to say the whole thing but when i said x ox on it went on it turned on quickly uh really quick it just went woof and i'm like whoa that is a quick instant on access from my xbox so it does that pretty darn quick right now uh and it shuts down pretty quickly too so back to your, the main menu here you got all your stuff on the upper right hand corner here i don't i can't move my my controller cursor to it but if you look in the upper right hand corner of course you see the time uh which i'm doing this in the early a.m as you can see 12 12 a.m i'm crazy yes and it show current it, co it constantly shows that and it constantly shows your battery power so it's actually showing that i got half even though i got more than half battery in my controller right now and then it has some stuff on the right pane like some games you might be interested in it has your free games with gold and great deals with gold or deals with gold in here right on the right hand side that's pretty cool uh it has some messages how do i find and play my xbox 360 games which we're going to test that out at the very end of this uh this look through of the uh, new dashboard update, the 2015 dashboard update for your Xbox One. I, I, I'll think about what I call it. Um, but down here, it shows of where I was at, what I was doing. So I was playing some YouTube earlier. Media player, help, and of course, Tomb Raider I was playing. Uh, it shows you, I think, just up to the four categories of what you were doing last which i was doing these and it you know makes it easy access for you to just click in there get into your game get into the game hub or something game dvr because you got two other choices for this or just get in the game get right into the help media player i can easily access this stuff right there that's where they have it this is what you're using now so it, i was under xbox accessories so that's what i was using now but if if I went into Tomb Raider, like so, I'll go into Tomb Raider, which I noticed, um, even though this is a digital game drive, it loads a lot faster. It loads a lot faster, I noticed, uh, this, the games, at least for Tomb Raider. Uh, I'm going to just close that out because I'm not going to play it. But, you know, whatever you got running will be in this window here, in the main, main window that I got highlighted here. You know, your videos, your games etc and then it'll show you down here what you were at last so now i'm playing tomb raider or i had the tomb raider up now xbox success here and it goes in that order it's pretty interesting 
Then you got my stuff, which basically used to be just called pins, but it's called my stuff now. This is where all my pins are at. You know, I got them, my videos up here. Then I got my digital games down here. These are all digital games. And then you got your settings category, which, which eh, I can unpin it. I don't need it. But I know you noticed that. Did you see that? I, I flipped into there. I did not do that. Every, this is another glitch I found out about in the Xbox One uh, dashboard preview. Like when I was playing with the pins, like I wanted to move a pin up or move a pin down or back or something or any of that stuff, it would always kick me super fast up and then to the right to the community section. I don't know why it does that. That's kind of like a glitch. It should just move the pin over and just let me see what I'm doing, not push me up and out and go back. That is a glitch. That is something I will report about uh, to Microsoft on that glitch about that because that should not happen. It should be a flawless me move a pin, delete a pin, and nothing should happen. But it does. It does. Stuff happens, which means uh, that needs to be fixed. And I, like I said, I got rid of the settings pin because it's up here now. I could just easily go up to the side down and go to settings right here so i don't have to worry about that but that that pin thing's a little annoying because if you want to move a lot of pins around or do a lot of things with the pins it's going to be a, a pain in the butt when you're getting kicked all the way up and to the right into the community but we're going to go to community anyways because that's where we're going to next so you got your community section here it's basically like their Twitter, Facebook-ish kind of thing. It shows what people are doing, what you want to do, what people are playing. You know, like a little timeline of stuff going on in the Xbox world with your friends on your friends list. So some people are playing basketball. Some people are playing other stuff like Mortal Kombat. That looks like, uh, what is that? BTA? I don't even know what that is. Um, more basketball. Um, somebody was playing more basketball. Uh, somebody's trying to record something. Somebody was playing another game, Guitar Hero. I think that was I think that was Rock. No, that might be Guitar Hero Live because that looks like something from Guitar Hero Live. I can actually check that out quickly. Let's see. Let's see. Daily impressed, earned impressive stage presence at show. And I'm betting that's uh, Guitar Hero Live. It doesn't say what it is, but I'm betting that's Guitar Hero Live or something. Because Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live came out already. But this is the community section. It's basically your timeline where I could share something. It's basically their Twitter, Facebookish feed. You know, it's Microsoft's Xbox's uh, feed list here. It's pretty sweet. If you're into that stuff, you know, I'm into the community on my Xbox. You know, a lot of people look at my stuff. I like to post stuff. Why not? Now, I wish you could put a Twitter feed in here. That'd be pretty badass, but you can't yet. Then you got the uh, one guide uh, for you people that like to watch... Uh, movies tv shows uh and stuff like that what's trending on on tv right now get ready for season five of the walking dead stuff it's a little bit more managed it's a little bit better now uh you know they got more they got more to it instead of just regular tv on here they actually got stuff for your apps and stuff so if i'm watching like machinima i can watch some of this stuff and here, FX Now, which I don't have. Sling TV, if you have it. Crackle, which I think I still have Crackle. I don't know. I should get Crackle if I don't have it still. Because they always got some interesting stuff on there. Like the tick, that's weird. But uh, Microsoft TV and movies, dramas and stuff. Basically, they got some recommendations in here. You know, it's more than just the TV guide, which they got it nice and small right here, which always annoyed me back on the 
on the previous dashboard because it was just took up a whole screen. It was just nothing but TV this, TV that, and I don't watch TV anymore. I'm a cord cutter like a lot of people. I do not watch live TV. I don't care about TV, but for people that still do this for TV, they still have your stuff right here. Your TV schedules, you can change whatever I'm sure uh, is on that list, right? I can change what's on this list. If I click on it, I bet I could. Or you could go to watch live TV now, movies from your apps, TV shows from all your apps, app channels, movie TV. You know, for you people that still watch that stuff, you know. I watch some of it, but I usually use like Netflix, Hulu Plus, Crackle, and my own movie collection. I don't care what's trending now either. So let's go to the next section. So click right and look at that more stuff shows up so basically most of the stuff is hidden you get like a couple things shown right here you know you get four things shown the guide the community the store and then you move over like so boom look at that now you got apps movies and tv and music and all this other stuff and games games is next which I'm surprised still that games is like in the like the fourth pane. Why isn't games like next to home and, or community or something? And then one guide and then apps and all that. They put games all the way back here, which is just weird to me. I don't know why. Um, you know, because this is an Xbox. This is a gaming machine. You would think they would be trying to sell us more of these games and make it, you know, I'm not saying easier, but seems like to put games a little farther than what I thought they would put it you know that's it's just weird to me but this is the game section it shows you what games are available for pre-order or purchase so it has rise of the Tomb Raider for pre-order which I already pre-purchased it at GameStop so I don't have to worry about pre-ordering on my Xbox cannot wait to play it and all the other games that you might want to find uh, interesting, like new releases. Like I just said, they got Rock Band 4 out now. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff. Monkey Pirates. Uh, top rated games. Grand Theft Auto 5, Witcher 3, Mortal Kombat, Tomb Raider, uh, Shadow Mordor, Outlast. And basically that's it. And then you could go in here, search all games, browse all games. They made it uh, probably a lot easier. So if we go to browse all games, it'll go right here. And as you can see, everything is uh, looking a little more clean. You know, add on subscription, search, use code, all games, uh, featured game of the year edition of stuff. They made it a little bit more uh, cleaner. Like they got the Wasteland 2 coming soon. Back to the Future, the game, the 30th Anniversary Edition, which I will be pre-ordering because of this game. This is the Telltale game, and it is pretty darn interesting. And they, look at this. Pre-order for 19 bucks. Looks pretty good. I'm going to pin that to home. Why don't I have that pinned to home? Um, it's coming on. Tells you when it's coming out, shows some screenshots, terms of use. This is gonna be a, a bad, badass game, I'm sure. It's back from the time when they released it for only PC and stuff, and I was bummed out about that. But finally it came back and it's coming. It's on the Xbox One and PS4. Whoops, go back. So they got your game section here. It's all organized better. You could go find your stuff add-ons, game releases, all that stuff. Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger pack. What's that for? What's the Arnold Schwarzenegger pack for? Oh, WWE 2K16. Oh, okay. So that's what they're touting here. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. I was wondering, I'm like, the Terminator pack? Oh, okay. Um... Download the Nerdist app. Sponsors. Uh, yeah, but this is the game section. That's what it looks like. You know, you got your games here. Then, I'll go up. Move over one. 
you got your apps most uh highest rated apps here you got your hulu plus espn nfl uh network netflix youtube twitch pandora upload studio um one quick thing if you're a youtube guy now they don't yet which this is another thing i'm hoping and i will request this from microsoft because you know they like us to request stuff i want to request to microsoft I want to get uh, YouTube Live on here where I can start streaming my gameplay to YouTube live. You know, instead of using the crappy Twitch app, I want to use YouTube to stream my gameplays. As of now, as I found out because I was in my YouTube account, they have now added uh, where you can upload clips to YouTube from your Xbox One video clips. Uh, but it isn't the live stuff. You cannot stream to YouTube yet on here. Even though they, YouTube has the gaming channel on YouTube, YouTube Gaming, maybe eventually they will allow or create something, an app or something, that on our Xbox where we can stream our gameplay to YouTube. Because uh, I think soon, as of soon, the PlayStation 4 will be able to stream to YouTube or you can watch uh, live streaming stop listening I, I my xbox thought thought i said something else of course uh very sensitive but eventually i hope we can do youtube live streaming on my our xbox so it's got that stuff new releases so new uh new apps here poker uh cbs sports 2b tv fundamation tune in PBS Kids, interesting. So those are the that's the app section. Then you go into the TV, movies and TV, which is basically Xbox's uh, movies and TV uh, section where they sell and rent movies to people. I heard, I don't use it as much, but it's here if I ever want to try to uh, to use it. If anybody wants to try to use it. Uh, they're showing pixels and some stuff here, some movie stuff. Making of the Legend, that's free. <laughs> I've already watched that many times. Making of Halo Anniversary 2 or Halo 2 Anniversary. What else do they got here? Guardians of the Galaxy, you can rent or buy. Anime, top rated TV shows. Mr. Robot, I heard, is a pretty good show. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Attack on Titan stuff. Huh. Lots of interesting stuff here. So you got that back there. And then finally, the last place, which I figure, I don't know if this is why, but I think it's because people don't use this much, but the music section. So you can, I guess, rent and buy music from, from here. I'm never into the music section here. You know, I got my own music. I can just stream my own music here. But, you know, you got all your panes here. They're all more organized, uh, cleaner, neater. Uh, probably easier to find stuff, hopefully. Uh, cannot really tell because I never really have to find too many things in here. But when I do, uh, it should be probably easier now than ever. It should all be categorized, hopefully. And plus, it'll show you what the new releases are. So you can go see what all the new releases are very easily. That's pretty nice. I'll go back to home here and close out the store, of course. Okay, a uh, few things. A few things. We're going to go through a few things. First, uh, uh, what was it? I was going to show you guys here. Ah, uh, darn. I was going to show you guys one thing here. Uh, what was I going to show you? I'm um, thinking too. Oh, the media player. Now, my, Microsoft uh, created this media player app for the Xbox One where you can stream videos and stuff and all that. Now, that was back when the original dashboard was on here, or, you know, the last dashboard before this beta one came out from people like me. Before, I was able to go in here, go on here, and my router or my NAS drive which right here this is my storage 
my home networking storage, which I can go in here, go into my folders, play my music, see my pictures, play my videos, which in my videos category, which I have it down on all these subfolders, which I might redo because I think it's just too many folders to go through to get to my videos. I have, you know, HD documentaries, series, and HD movies. Um, before I did this update, I was able to go into the HD movies and see all my HD movies, just like here. You go into TV shows, TV series, I got Batman Beyond here. You click on here, you got episodes that I digitally, digitally ripped to my server to watch uh, Batman Beyond. Same with everything else. Now, I have a lot of movies. I got over probably 450, probably more than that, movies as of now. Um, before, I was able to see and scroll through all of them. Now, it seems like it has like a, a glitch in here in the videos category that either it's because it's in too many subfolders and there's too many movies, it doesn't want to show up and then it gives me a hard time. It says you cannot, there, there's, you cannot see these movies because you got to sign in. So I'll click on this and I'll try to load, but it will fail. And that never happened to me before. And I don't know, it, it, it's something they got to fix, but it's something I'm going to probably try to fix too. I got a couple of methods that I might try to fix this problem because it is a problem. Because as you can see, it is loading, 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 and nothing's happening. And eventually, this. No access to this location. Before you can play items in this location, you must first have permission to access it. And the funny thing is, I do have permission to access it. Because as you've seen earlier, I was able to go into my other folders here and view all my other stuff, like my documentaries and stuff and making of. Don't... That, that was easy. I think it's because I got so many films in here that it just can't handle it. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, I'm going to reorganize all my files on my NAS drive here for videos and uh, stuff like that. And in my movies category, I'm going to have, well, I'm going to bring up the subfolders and make them, make them up, or up on the list on my NAS drive. But I'm going to also put subfolders in this movie's directory so it's going to have a through z so i'll have my a movies b c d f g f j j k you know i'll have actual folders for each and i think if i do that i will be able to gain regain access to my whole film collection and i will be able to have them organized in a way that they go in alphabetical order or by movie or however i do it and I won't have to worry about that anymore, you know. I might have to click into another folder, but it'll be more organized, I think. I'm gonna try that out. I'll see how that works out for me. But it is a little bit of a problem because I used to be able to just click in there, get in there, and play my videos, search my videos out, my huge collection. And it seems like after this update, it kind of got a little glitchy. That is something I'm going to address to Microsoft. And uh, you know, I hope they're watching this. If they're watching this, they'll, they'll hear about it. But um, I will address it to them. I will go and do that in the feedback section when I get a chance to. Uh, before I go and try to install a 360 game, I have not tried to yet to see if the backwards compatibility is working on this yet. Because uh, the, the last time they said Fallout 3 was going to be uh, backwards compatible with a whole bunch of other games. And I just want to see if it's going to be backwards compatible because it was not working before. But they got a video here that I wanted to show you guys on how, to, how do I find and play my Xbox 360 games. It's a nice little video and I think you might like it. With backward compatibility, you can play many of your Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. If you own a digital copy of a game in the backward compatible catalog, 
it shows up automatically in the Ready to Install section on your Xbox One. You can also play backward compatible games you own on disc. Insert the disc and follow the prompt to install the game. The console begins downloading the game to your hard drive. After the game is finished downloading, keep the game disc in the drive to play. You'll see the Xbox 360 boot up animation take over the screen, but it's still running inside the Xbox One, so you can use both guides. I'll show some of that in a minute. If you have a game save stored in the cloud, it'll sync your save and your DLC, and you can pick up where you left off. When you're playing, save your game often. If you open a full screen Xbox One app or game, you'll lose your unsaved progress. You can send messages and join parties with other Xbox 360 players by pressing the menu and view buttons on your controller at the same time to open the guide. In addition, since you're still on Xbox One, you can record game video clips and take screenshots. Double tap the Xbox button and choose an option to capture your game. The same double tap opens the Xbox One guide where you can send party invites and messages to your Xbox One friends. So you can play multiplayer with your friends no matter which console they're on. Find a list of games in the backward compatible catalog on xbox.com and vote for Xbox 360 games you want to play using the Xbox Feedback website. Okay, so I'm back. I, Sorry about the loud noises you might have heard. I was trying to mute my microphone. I kind of rubbed against it. Uh, but I hope that shows you a little bit of stuff on how to find and play uh, your 360 games when you get this dashboard update and uh, when you get into here uh, I think it's very a very interesting thing that they're doing with backwards compatibility and I hope it's fully working so right now before I end this video because it is becoming a long video I want to see if I'm able to install this copy of Fallout 3 on the Xbox One right now if that is available now if not i will know so i just wanted to find out and then we'll see together if that's possible so gotta i got my fallout 3 disc right here i'm gonna insert it into the console as of now so it's going in the slot right about now if i could get in, in the slot come on it's nothing in the slot right Nope. Okay, get in there. Okay, my Xbox game is in the slot. Let's see if something happens. Um, let's see if anything is showing up and or will show up. Ah, here we go. Uh, apparently, it is not available yet. This game isn't playable here. Xbox.com for a list of 360 games that are playable on the Xbox One. Uh, so nope as of yet fall three maybe it's gonna be available when this uh, update is out because it should be out already but I guess it's gonna we're gonna have to wait on that a little bit longer it's kind of a bummer because I wanted to try out fall three on my Xbox one and see how it plays but you know it's still in beta they're still doing the final touches to everything in the 360 games. There is a lot of 360 games here that are available. This isn't one of them, apparently. I wonder... I think we're... I don't know if we're missing it. Let me see here. I, you know what I did not see? Which, I don't know if they're working on it. Oh, here it is. It's all the way over here. Microsoft Edge Browser. I was wondering if they still had the browser in here. I, I kind of figured they would. And other features like Cortana will be coming down the line, apparently, I heard, uh, where she will be the our digital assistant on the Xbox One, just like on the Windows 10, eventually. Uh, we just gotta wait longer for her. Uh, so that will be coming down the line. So if anybody is wondering about, oh, how come you haven't talked about Cortana or anything? Uh, I thought she was supposed to be the digital assistant. Yes, eventually she will be. 
uh, on our Xbox Ones, if you like her or not. Uh, but that's going to be down the line uh, in far further updates. But um, the way this Xbox uh, One dashboard update of 2015 is looking, it's looking pretty good, I think. If you, you know, it, it looks pretty sleek and sexy. Um, everything's pretty much quick and organized here. If I hold, if I click the X, the home X button here, let's see here. It's supposed to open up. Let's see, double tap. Okay, double tap. The Xbox button goes into the side pane here. I got it. Double tap tap out but so if you double tap the Xbox logo button in the middle of your controller it actually opens up the side pane so I bet if I'm in the game here in Tomb Raider and I double tap this X button hey look it pops up the side pane just like you would see on your 360 which would be in the middle of the screen while you're playing the game and it's running this pops up on the side pane. So I'm in the game right now, but I'm also on my side notifications pane. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know, so, and it's, the game is live right now. I'm in the game. I'm on the main menu of the game, but that's pretty cool. So I can see my friends. I can start a chat, party chat. And I'm still in the game and all I have to do is hit the Xbox home button one more time and then get out of it. You know, I think twice. Let's see. I'll get in here. Double click. Okay. Double click. Double click. Yeah, nothing yet. Oh, I got to move right. Oh, okay. So I double click to get in. Okay. So I'm in the game. Then I'm in the profiles and stuff. As you can see here, I'm in my side pane where it shows me all my stuff. So if I want to get out of this and go just right back to the game, I hit my left analog stick to the right. Boom, right back in the game. That is sweet. A famous explorer once said. That is really sweet, I like that. That, that is pretty good. I think that, that is the best thing they did there. Nice and easy in, nice and easy out. That, that's the best I can explain it, folks. Um, but there are a few glitches in here. There are a few caveats. There are a few things missing. Uh, as of t this update as of right now, um, which I'm doing this on, uh, well, it's October, Friday, October 9th as of now, uh, 12.42 a.m. And, uh, but it's still, it's a solid beta. It's a solid, uh, preview actually, I should say, because this is the preview program of the new Xbox dashboard. Um, it's exciting, it's sleek, it's sexy. I think they did a great job of, of just populating everything and not overpopulating everything. And uh, compared to the, the what I seen last of the PS4, it, it just looks like it's there's stuff going on on this console, you know? You see stuff moving, you see stuff playing. You got I got my nice background still, my custom background is bigger. And, you, I can see more of it in the back, you know, right now. Usually you can't, but yeah, I like it. I like this a lot. This is um, pretty kick-ass. You know, I'm, in, I'm really enjoying it. Um, until I run into some bigger glitches like with other games or something, I, I don't know. I, I think this is a, a pretty solid experience as of now. And I know they wanted to wait for people like me a little bit uh, to get this preview because they know... People like me like to do videos on this, so guilty as charged. So there's a storm of brewing outside right now of my house. I guess it's starting to rain and it's thunder and lightning, so I better end this preview now before something happens like a lightning strike hits it and then everything goes kaput. So if you got any questions for me about this dashboard preview um, or comments or if there's something you think that I missed, or is there something that you want to see in this preview or or any other questions or comments for me, please email me at corecast2011 at gmail.com. That is corecast2011 at gmail.com is my email address. 
You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Juju2Cast. That again is at the at symbol J-U-J-U-2-C-A-S-T at Juju2Cast is my Twitter handle. And you can also tweet me at that. Tweet me your questions, whatever. Um, Also, visit my website at Juju2Cast.com. That is Juju2Cast.com, the Juju2Cast network. And all you have to go to, you could go even on your Xbox One like I'm doing here. Uh, But I want full screen, so uh, they better give it to me full screen. Wait. Oh, this is another feature before I go. Look down here. Full screen. Look at that. No, I didn't want that full screen. I wanted the Edge browser full screen. Oh, boy. See, some, some stuff is good. Some stuff isn't ready yet or not running correctly yet but let me see here i want to go to the microsoft edge and i want to do this i don't think edge should be uh (laughs) i don't think the edge browser should be on a side panel here like that let's see here can i I do can I do this um, how do you do this quit that make that full no that just makes the game full for some reason yeah there's some glitches on here what can I say uh, there's some things that have to get worked out but you know it's a, it's a work in progress folks but like I said visit my website juju2cast.com so I'm going to go into here. Everything's looking weird. The Edge browser's not running properly. Actually, as I'm looking at this, the Edge browser ain't working, period. Holy cow. Look, nothing's moving on the Edge browser. So, yes, uh, there are things that are broken. Oh, wait. I fixed something? Something working now? Huh. Oh, no, no, it's still, it's still not working, folks. Yeah, there's still something wrong with the Edge browser. I don't, I don't know what it is, but nothing's really working on Edge browser. So that's one thing they're gonna have to fix, because as I can see here, it's not letting me do anything in the Edge browser. So. I'll just cancel out of that. So, juju2cast.com, I was going to show it up on here, but that was a big epic fail on my part. So, juju2cast.com, the Juju2cast network, where I, Mr. Mike, do videos like this when they work and when I get stuff right. Um, I do podcasts like uh, the Juju2cast audiocast and the Games Attack audiocast, which is my gaming podcast. So, if you're interested in games and game talk and news and all that go to and download for free the games attack audio cast all my podcasts are free all my videos are free i do uh gaming videos gaming unboxing videos tech videos sometimes just shows and i got articles on my website too of good stuff you know you might find out some information plus my contact info is on there plus the Monocore 06 is my gaming tag handle, my gamer tag for my Xbox One. So if you want to follow me, friend me, play some games with me, that is a thing. So I'm Mr. Mike. I'm not going to take up much more of your guys' time, and I'm out of here. So have a great day. Bye-bye. So I-